So another quick video to show the new feature called Database Restore that was introduced in the build 5504 that was released recently. And this is uh, the 64-bit version of Virtual GTA 2020 build 5404 that I'm having right here, but it's the same with the 32-bit version. So what's this all about? Well, there's been a backup option for a while. So if I go down here to database and say, create database backup, then it creates a backup, a backup file for me. This one is the new one. And I can double click it because it's a zip file and I can see what's inside it. Something about folders, history, mappers, patch, playlists, and the database file, and a backup of the settings file. So that's been there for a while. So it used to be that if you wanted any of this stuff back, you had to, and you lost your current one, you had to manually copy it uh, back in the right place. But now, if I uh, go out here, so I have my virtual DJ folder on documents, and I shut down virtual DJ, and I ruin it. So now it's officially lost. And I open Virtual DJ again. You can see it, of course, now it looks exactly like the first time you started it. And if you look into folders here, you can see that it has created a new Virtual DJ folder with some stuff in it. But of course, it's not the one you backed up because that's over here. One I ruined. So it's running now, but we haven't got all our stuff back. And of course we want that. So now we want to restore it. So what do we do? Well, there's now also an option for restore down here, the database, restore database backup. And that lets you select which parts you want to restore. There's the database, it's the history files, it's your playlists, it's your filter folders, it's your mappers, it's your events, it's your paths, and it's your virtual folders. So what's not here? Well, there are no plugins, because that's basically mini programs. There are no samples. There are no cache and stuff like that, because those are pretty big files. So those are not part of the backup and therefore not part of the restore. So as I also want this history. So restore that. Oh, sorry. And then of course, select my backup file. Like that, restart that. And it tells me how much stuff it's gotten back. 274 songs that it has put into the current database XML file. So it's not actually getting the old database file. It's using the one it just created and it just puts everything into it that it can find from the backup. It's imported a playlist. So that's this one here that I created just for this video called test. It has gotten some history back. So if I click here, you can see I got some history folders back. Didn't have any events, so none of those. A custom pad page. If I change this to pro, you can see I have a custom pad page down here that's been restored all the way down here. Let's go back to status again. Then it has gotten seven filter folders back. And those are those ones. And my test filter that I created for this video. And two virtual folders. For instance, this one. And it also has nine custom mappers. You can't really see those from in here. But if you go out here, Okay, and you go into Virtual DJ and the mappers. You can see I have all these mappers. Some of them are keyboards, it's an old nanopad and stuff like that, my old mappers. So I've got everything back uh, almost. So what didn't I get back? Well, like I said before, the cache is not there and uh, language doesn't really matter. Um, the plugins are not going to be there because that's basically programs. The samples are not going to be there. 
and the skins are not going to be there. And if I close, and if you can actually see in here that it doesn't really look like it used to look. So if I close Visual DJ, it creates a new settings file, but it's not going to be the old one. So it doesn't bring back the settings, uh, probably because it can't do that while it's open. That's just my guess. But you can, of course, do that manually. So if I go back here to the one I destroyed, where the backup is in, of course you want to put that backup somewhere else after you do the backup, like an external drive or maybe some cloud storage or something like that. But if I go into that one, I can take my settings file, I can bring it into the new, create newly created uh, virtual DJ folder, delete the current one that it's just created, and rename this one to so settings backup. I can reopen it. And now I got it back the way it was when I started. Bring these shapes down. So I have, of course have everything, but I also have the look and feel, I have the right sizes, I have everything just the way it was in my settings. So it's basically brought everything back from the backup, except for the settings file, which you still have to do manually. You can of course still bring everything back manually, one piece at a time if you want to. Um, and not use the new restore option, but I think it's a pretty cool feature. Just remember which part are not part of your backup. So for instance, if you want to back up your samples or anything of, of the, that kind of thing, then you still need to, to do manual backups and not use the backup feature. But apart from that, this is a short intro to the restore option that has been added so that you can now automatically restore almost all parts of the database backup file.